Hi, welcome to this week's Start to Finish Sunday video. I was over at my Uplines house the other day for a meeting and this is the card that we made. It features a lot of the new product from the 2013 Stampin' Up! catalog which just went live on the 31st which was Friday. Um, so you can get all the great new stuff now um, but this, this was the card that we made. And I am going to be using this as kind of a, my sketch for today. I'm going to be casing this card but using different supplies. So, um, but I am going to be using the same stamp set that we used on this one. Just different, a different collection of designer paper and therefore a different color palette. So let's get started. Okay, I've got all of my pieces um, cut and kind of ready to go here. Um, my card base is Knight of Navy. And then I have a square, or not, it's not quite square, uh, but a piece of Daffodil Delight. And I'll leave all the measurements for these pieces on my blog. Um, and the designer paper that I'm using is from the Gingham Garden Collection. And it's really fun and summery and bright. And I just want to talk about this designer paper for a minute because when I was choosing, um, as you can see on the original card, there's three different pattern papers here. So I wanted to kind of go with that same design for the card. So when I was choosing these designer papers, I went with a tip that I got from Christina Werner that is a fantastic tip for working with pattern papers. If you're combining more than one paper, you want to have a large scale pattern, a medium, and then a very small pattern that almost reads as a solid. So you can see here I do have, here's my large scale pattern. This one is a little bit smaller, more of a medium scale. And then this one here is a very small pattern and from a distance it almost reads as like a solid green. So that was how I chose these patterns and when you go with that sort of rule of thumb you know that your card um, is always going to look really put together. This is the Label Love stamp set. This is brand new in the 2013 catalog and it also has this great punch that coordinates with it and this one also coordinates with there's some other stamp sets in the catalog that coordinate with this punch as well. And um, we're going to be using this stamp and actually the this, this stamp right here. Um, I'm actually making a card today for a very dear friend of mine who just graduated um, from UMass as a nurse practitioner and I'm so thrilled for her. So um, this stamp says cutest baby ever. There's no congratulations uh, sentiment in this um, set. So. We're using the baby stamp and I'm going to show you how I'm going to work around it. We're going to make it not a baby stamp and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. So I want to do my stamping first. Got my little piece of Daffodil Delight and I'm going to put some scratch paper underneath that. So what I'm going to do now is stamp this background here using the label uh, stamp. And I am a little bit obsessed with how my backgrounds come out. So I am going to use my stamp on jig to make sure that I get this lined up just how I want it to be. Um, if you are kind of okay at lining things up, then go ahead and just stamp it. Um, you know, if you can line it up yourself, great. Stamp it however works best for you. But I like using my stamp on jig to make sure that everything gets really well lined up. Okay, and there you can see what that ends up looking like. Really fun little background pattern on there. Okay, now I just have a scrap of Whisper White and my Melon Mambo ink. And again, I'm using this cutest baby ever um, stamp. Doesn't matter, we're gonna fix it. I picked this one because it, the background I think goes really nicely with the gingham of the pattern paper. So I'm just gonna stamp this on my Whisper White. And I'm gonna take my 7 8 inch scallop circle punch and that actually fits perfectly inside that little area. So I'm just gonna line that up. And as easy as that, it is no longer a baby stamp. Then I'll just take the label punch and punch out the whole stamp. I 
I'm using the Congratulations stamp from Delightful Dozen. And I just have a little strip of Whisper White that measures just a little bit over um, a quarter of an inch. It's between a quarter and three eighths of an inch. And I'm just going to stick this to my work surface to kind of help me stamp it. Okay, now I just have another scrap piece of Whisper White and I'm taking one of the washi tapes that coordinates with this collection. And I adore washi tape and so I really wanted to use that. You can see how it's kind of transparent. Um, so I'm actually going to tear off a piece and I'm going to try to line it up right along the edge of my cardstock here. Okay, just like that. And now you can see we have that nice white background. Um, it's not transparent any longer. And it's also going to give it a little bit of stability, which is for, for the purposes of what I'm going to do with it. Um, I need it to be a little bit more stable. So I'm just going to take this to my paper cutter and just cut it right. Um, actually, I think I'm going to cut it down a little bit so it's not quite so wide. Okay, so I trimmed that down and I've also got my sentiment banner here. I'm just going to take my paper snips and cut a little banner end in both strips. So the first thing I'm going to do is adhere this layer of designer paper to my card base. And then I'm going to center and stick my Daffodil Delight piece that I stamped that label background on. And that'll just go in the center of the card like that. Then I can adhere my gingham strip across the front. I think I'm going to do it up a little bit, not quite centered. Okay. And then I cut that a little bit long, so I'll just go in and trim off the extra. And I'm going to adhere my designer paper circle. And then I've got my little label that I stamped. And that's going to go right there, but I do want it to go um, up on dimensionals. But first, actually, this is where my sentiment is going to go. So I'm going to layer these two kind of like that. And they're actually going to go so that they're coming out from my little label, just like that. So I'll just put some adhesive along this side of the label and then let's see. I can make sure that's on exactly where I want it to be. It looks pretty good. And I'm just going to trim off the extra. Okay. And I'll put a little bit more adhesive. Oops. Okay. And do the same thing with my little yellow banner. And I want that to extend out a little bit further. Okay. 
that looks pretty good like that. And I'll just trim off the extra on there. Okay, and now I'm going to put this whole thing on some dimensionals. Okay, and then I just have one more little touch that I want to add. I'm going to take one of these faceted buttons. I think I want... Yeah, I'm going to use the small one. I'll just take a little piece of white baker's twine. And I'll tie this in a bow. And I'm going to use just a little bit of Tombow Mono Multi Glue. And this goes on white, but it will dry clear. I'll just place that onto my card right there. So there is my finished card project. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and um, enjoyed getting a look at some of the new products from the 2013-2014 Stampin' Up! catalog. If you have any questions, please let me know and contact me if you need a copy of the catalog or you'd like to place an order. Until next week, happy stampin'. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.